I was brought to Canada uh, four years ago because, frankly, Canada was falling behind. Uh, there is a very big movement globally to move um, uh, solutions and applications to the cloud. And because of a lot of reasons, most particularly around data, privacy, security, data sovereignty in this country, uh, Canada had not moved. I'll tell you, in the last four years, it's, it's unbelievable how much it's changed. Not only uh, we put two data centers here in the country, mostly for the Canadian government, but it's interesting, in the new world, uh, that this is a global world and privacy, security, is very important to everyone. It's, it's not just Canadians that want to go in the Microsoft Canada data centers, but some of the multinationals find Canada to be a safe harbor and a great place to do business. And so a lot has changed in the, in the last four years, but I will say now, particularly in the FinTech and insurance industry, I absolutely think that they are leaders um, and are trying to do breakthrough in areas such as machine learning, artificial intelligence, and big data. And when it comes to that security concern, that's one of the biggest concerns about anything cloud related, whether it's our personal data or, or corporate. How do you assuage those concerns? What do you tell customers? Yeah, and again, I would tell you four years ago, the conversation was very different than today. In today's world, I, I would think any anybody, any consumer is using some cloud-based solution today. Everyone is carrying it on their mobile devices. But from a corporate perspective and from a government's perspective, everyone is clearly moving. And what's different is in today's world, security and cybersecurity specifically is top of mind for um, all corporations, for the governments, for corporate boards. What I would say and what Microsoft's position is that we believe everyone um, has the potential to get hacked and so it's more important to protect the data. We're spending about a billion dollars a year so that we can not only make the assumption that if they get in, that we'll find them, we'll defend them, and then we'll work uh, globally with international crime organizations, no, with international uh, police organizations to fight the criminals, not only to find out who they are, but actually prosecute them and stop them.